Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And again, the floor is given to the co-prosecutors to continue putting questions to this witness, and you may proceed, uh, Deputy Co-Prosecutor. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur le Président. Monsieur le témoin, juste avant la pause, nous Thank avions parlé much, du fait que vous aviez dit devant les, les gens de CDCAM que l'unité 17 pouvait être exterminée à tout moment. Pouvez-vous nous expliquer pourquoi vous avez dit ça Qu'est-ce qui justifiait que cette unité 17 était composée de gens qui pouvaient à tout moment être exterminés Why was that unit 17 composed of people who could be exterminated at any time? They decided that we were considered uh, traitors and we were placed in the so-called unit 17 and unit there were 50 17. of us. However, allow me to uh, say it clearly before the Mais court that I did not know why we were accused of uh, being traitors. I did not know anything at all about the traitors' activity. Vous avez dit à propos de votre commandant de régiment Peng devant le CDCAM, donc IS 19.47, à la page en Khmer 000 en anglais 00680645 et en français 0082360. Vous avez dit ceci, je cite, « Quant à M. Peng, je sais qu'ils l'ont arrêté et exécuté. » Question, il a été arrêté en quelle année Vous avez répondu, en 77 ou 78. Question, ils l'ont arrêté pour quelle raison Et vous avez dit, « La raison de son arrestation à dire vrai, c'est parce qu'ils ont dit que la zone centrale a trahi, y compris donc l'armée de la zone centrale. » Et bien entendu, vous avez précisé que la zone nord et la zone centrale, c'était la même chose. Donc, est-ce que vous confirmez que même après la réunion de Vatnam, on ne vous a jamais dit pourquoi vos dirigeants étaient considérés comme des traîtres At that time, the, allow me to say that initially it was called the North Zone, Je dois dire départ, and later on it was changed to the uh, Central Zone. Et ensuite, cette zone s'est appelée la zone centrale. And, uh, Later on, I did not recall the details regarding suite, those related events. And if any événements. cadre who was at a leadership level disappeared from for more than seven days, I made my personal conclusion jours, that the person was taken away si and killed. Cas, je été et and if the person was to return to before the seven-day si period, the person would not be sent jours, back to his uh, former unit, but would be reassigned to another unit. Vern et Peng ont été arrêtés à la même période, ont disparu à la même période, pardon. Were they arrested during the same period and did they disappear during the same period? Vern, 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 Vern,
Les premiers. Then, Ensuite, Payne and Payne other uh, cadres who were at a similar rank and level started to disappear. De même rang, ont commencé à disparaître. Nous avons un dossier un certain nombre de, de documents, euh, notamment le document E3-342 qui indique que EUN, au numéro 89667, est entré à S21 le 17 février 1977. Il y a également un document E3-2285, 2285, pardon, au numéro 87, c'est une liste de S21 de prisonniers exécutés le 12 mai. Le président interrompt. President, uh, Deputy Co-Prosecutor, please repeat the document and the EN number again as the interpreter uh, did not catch it. Je n'en étais pas encore aux IRN, mais je vais répéter les codes. E3 bar 342, ça c'est la liste révisée des prisonniers de S21, qui comporte le nom de Eun à l'entrée numéro 8, 9, 6, 7 et qui précise que Eun est entré à S21 le 17 février 1977, tandis que le document E3 bar 2285 au numéro 87 de cette liste de S21 de prisonniers exécutés le 12 mai 1977 se trouve le nom de Som Chun alias Peng, secrétaire du régiment 12, qui est entré à S21 le 19 février 1977. Est-ce que ces dates rafraîchissent votre mémoire sur le moment où vous êtes parti vers l'aéroport de Kampong Shnang C'est-à-dire que ce n'était pas avant que Eun, Kum, Peng et puis aussi Peng soient arrêtés. En février 1977. Uh, Once those who were leadership and who were recalled to uh, go to Phnom Penh was all arrested. Phnom Penh était tous arrêtés au niveau des dirigeants. Ma question est de savoir si cela rafraîchit, si les dates de février 1977 rafraîchissent sur votre mémoire quant au fait que vous n'avez pas été envoyé à l'aéroport de Camp Phnom avant février ou mars 77, c'est-à-dire avant l'arrestation des dirigeants de la division. Oui, c'est exact. Les forces ont été déployées et au niveau des dirigeants, il n'y a plus de lien entre les dirigeants et les soldats ou les subalternes. Oui, d'ailleurs vous avez dit dans votre procès verbal E3 par 5532, à la réponse 4, vous avez dit ce qui suit. Je cite. Le commandant du bataillon, Sun, nous a informé que le lendemain nous serions transférés à Kampong Shnang afin d'effectuer les travaux de la construction de l'aéroport et que seulement les soldats de section et de compagnie devaient y aller. Cinq GMC sont venus nous embarquer. En même temps, j'ai également vu venir trois autres véhicules pour transporter les commandants du bataillon et du régiment, parmi lesquels il y avait mon chef, Sun. Les véhicules de mon groupe se sont avancés en direction de la route nationale 5, menant à la province de Kampong alors que ceux du groupe de Sun, je les ai vus diri se diriger vers Phnom Penh. Et, 
Pourriez-vous nous dire combien il y avait de commandants ou de chefs du niveau des régiments et bataillons qui ont été emmenés dans les trois autres véhicules le jour où vous êtes parti à Kampong Chenang Donc je parle de ceux qui sont partis vers Phnom Penh et pas ceux qui étaient avec vous. It was my observation the, the convoy included uh, three uh, vehicles. As for my convoy, uh, there were four vehicles and it was en route to Kampung et combien y avait-il de cadres dirigeants à peu près dans les trois véhicules qui partaient vers Phnom Penh in the three vehicles that left for Phnom Penh. I did not grasp the situation as the, the process was done during the night time and I only saw the headlines oui. of the three vehicles. Chantier de construction de l'aéroport de Kampong Lorsque vous avez été transféré dans ces cinq véhicules GMC vers l'aéroport, est-ce que vous avez eu le choix de refuser d'y aller Vous avez le choix d'y aller ou non I didn't dare to refuse at all. Je pas du If tout I were to uh, refuse, then the si I refusé, would be disappeared. Because by that time, we were under the control and leadership of the Southwest Group. Sous la direction du groupe sud -ouest. Vous avez dit une phrase qui, <coughs> qui m'intéresse devant le CDK. C'était la page en Khmer 00019665. En français, 00823165. Et en anglais, 00680651. Vous avez dit ceci. En 1976, la situation a changé. Après... Je n'étais plus rattaché à l'armée. La, no J'ai été nommé à l'unité d'examen qui devait construire un aéroport à Kampongchnang. Est-ce que vous pourriez nous expliquer ce que vous entendez Can par les mots « je n'étais plus rattaché à l'armée » When my group was separated from the main group and sent to Kampong Kampong Chinang, I was relieved of my duty and I was no longer a soldier but a laborer working or engaging labor at the airfield. Est-ce que vous aviez été démobilisé, que vous n'étiez plus soldat, parce que vous étiez affilié à ce qu'on appelait des traîtres au sein de la division In Unit 17, he was affiliated to the traitorous network in the central zone. Est-ce que dès lors, l'unité 17 était envoyée à Kampong Chnang pour être punie, rééduquée ou pour être forgée par des travaux manuels Uh, it was not like that. 
However, we were screened out and selected to engage in heavy uh, labor there, so that our strength would be weakened and that we could not uh, engage in any act uh, against them. And we were in a position not to be able to refuse any work assignment. Est-ce que vous aviez certaines libertés sur place? Did he enjoy a certain measure of freedom at that work site? At the airfield work site, you could say there was freedom. However, there was a limited freedom. And, I mean, we were not allowed to move freely. We could only move within the limited assigned area. And you could also say that we were imprisoned in a prison without walls. You said on the page that I am, the one I just quoted, that is the... Il y avait plein de gens qui avaient tous un statut d'ouvrier. C'étaient d'ailleurs tous des militaires que les Khmer Rouges destinaient à la mort, sans aucun regret. En fait, il s'agissait simplement de gens venus de deux zones, la zone centrale et la zone est. Est-ce que vous pourriez me parler de, du statut des gens de la zone est Sur le chantier, vous avez dit qu'ils avaient également un statut d'ouvrier. Si vous deviez comparer votre condition, vos conditions de travail et de vie avec celles des gens de la zone Est, que pourriez-vous dire They worked the uh, nature of those from the two different zones. Pour ce qui est de la nature I can du attest that the work that to be done by us, Unit 17, was heavier than that of the other soldier of the soldiers from the other zone. Que celui que effectuait les soldats d'autres zones. Est-ce que vous savez de quelle division euh, provenaient les autres, les autres ouvriers sur le chantier, à part votre unité de Est-ce qu'il y avait des gens de la division 450 ou de la division 170 No. Non. D'où provenaient les gens de la zone est dont vous parlez Donc ces anciens militaires qui avaient un statut d'ouvrier. Savez-vous de quelle division ils provenaient Je ne comprenais pas bien la situation à l'époque. Mon supérieur a dit que ces gens venaient de la zone Est. Nous n'avions pas le droit de communiquer avec eux, sinon nous aurions pu disparaître. Est-ce qu'il y a eu des gens qui ont disparu dans votre unité 17 lorsque vous étiez sur le chantier de l'aéroport. However, I knew that people disappeared from other units. Et savez-vous pourquoi ces personnes disparaissaient Est-ce que vous avez pu l'apprendre 
And do you know why those people disappeared? Were you able to find out why? I did not know the reason for their disappearance. Je ne sais pas pourquoi ces personnes disparaissaient. Est-ce qu'il y avait des gardes armés qui patrouillaient sur le chantier? Were there any armed guards patrolling the airport construction site? There were guards and they were all forces from the southwest. Toutes les forces venaient du sud-ouest. Est-ce que ces gardes du sud-ouest venaient ou appartenaient à la division 502? Were those guards from the southwest zone members of division 502? I didn't have that knowledge. Je n'en savais rien. Est-ce que ces gardes vous surveillaient Did those durant votre travail Keep an eye on you or monitor you while you're working. They didn't stay uh, close to us. They were at the, at the far distance from us. However, they were nous. on patrol surrounding the area that we were working in. Dans les dans nous travaillons. Est-ce que les gens du Sud-Ouest, notamment les gardes, étaient attentifs were those people from the southwest zone pour éviter les tentatives d'évasion watchful to avoid any people trying to escape. I have not any conclusion regarding the nature of their guards. Can you tell us what kind of work you had to do on the site of the chantier and why? Ces travaux étaient-ils pénibles And can you tell us how such work was painful? They, the most difficult type of work there was to le carry rocks and to lay them on the ground. Roches, and that was the most difficult thing comparing to terre, carrying us, uh, for example. Notamment si l'on compare avec le transport de la terre. Est-ce qu'il y a eu des blessés? Dans votre unité, d'autres unités, parmi ceux qui devaient transporter les roches ou les percer, peut-être les dynamiter. Les For those who had the duty to break rocks uh, got injured from revanche, the fragments uh, of the blast. And that happened in my unit as well, and some workers died as a result of uh, the blast from the rock breaking process. Vous avez dit devant DCCAM, IS 19.47. En Khmer, la page 00019668, en français 00823168, et en anglais 00068060654. Vous avez dit, j'ai été muté à Kampong Shnang où la vie était terrible pour tout le monde. Il n'y avait pas que la population qui était concernée. Tout le monde était dans le calvaire. Fin de citation. Pourriez-vous nous donner des détails sur le caractère terrible de la vie à Kampong Chnang et pourquoi vous avez dit que c'était un calvaire 
it was an uphill task. I mean to say that our unit was screened out and we were assigned to the heaviest task and we were subject to, any, to the execution at any time and we were ordered to work non-stop. For instance, for the morning session, we had four hours, and we did the same for the afternoon session. And at night time, we had to do three to four hours uh, intensive labor, regardless of the weather conditions or whether it, it rained. And that was compounded with insufficient food and with little sleep that we had. And that weakened us. Justement, à propos de la nourriture, Est-ce que cette nourriture était food. adéquate, équilibrée, food, variée, adequate, de façon à ce que vous ayez assez d'énergie pour accomplir toutes les tâches so pénibles qui étaient les vôtres sur ce chantier the food was insufficient, as I stated. Comme je dit, Although il pas it was de called uh, one tin of rice given to us, L the amount of the actual rice was very riz, little. Mais cette and uh, boîte if you pas put de riz. all those rice grains together, it, it amounted to about only two ladles. And the food itself, the, the soup itself, was tasteless. The soup usually consisted of a water lily or morning glory, and it was very rare for us to have any meat or fish in the soup. You have said in the response 6 of the process verbal E3 bar 5, 5, 3, 2. And in English, it's the page that ends by 3, 4. J'ai vu qu'on transportait les malades à l'hôpital, mais je ne savais pas où il était situé. Parmi ces malades, très peu sont revenus. Fin de citation. Quand vous dites que très peu de malades sont revenus de l'hôpital, Est-ce que vous parlez des gens de votre propre groupe Et si oui, pouvez-vous nous dire si vous avez appris s'ils étaient morts à l'hôpital People whom I saw did not belong to my unit. Les gens que j'ai vus n'appartenaient pas à mon unité. Was from the east zone as well. Ils venaient de la zone est. However, they were from a different unit and they worked at the same work site, but it was at a far distance from where my unit worked. Mais c'était assez loin de mon unité. And I did not see them return. And as I said, they were from the east zone. Comme je l'ai dit, ils venaient de la zone est. Est-ce que parmi les ouvriers du chantier et dans votre groupe, est-ce qu'il y avait des gens qui étaient malades et qui ne voulaient pas le dire de peur qu'on les accuse d'être paresseux et donc qui continuaient à travailler jusqu'à ce qu'ils soient épuisés a few cases only, and usually we would help them. And sometimes we had, we had to give them the little food that we had so that they would recover. And that's the spirit that we had for the uh, members of the group. 
so that they could recover from their illness and that we could achieve the quota for the group. Ma dernière question, Monsieur le témoin. This will be my last question. Je vais lire un extrait so de votre interview devant interview with les gens de CDCAM, IS 19.47, à la page en Khmer 000 19659 jusque 60. En français, 00 82 31 59 jusque 60 aussi. Et en français, 0068-06-44 et 45. Vous avez dit ceci. J'ai agi tout à fait contrairement à mon objectif initial. En effet, je voulais être soldat et combattre l'ONOL pour libérer la population. Il s'est trouvé que j'ai fait le contraire de ce à quoi je tendais au départ. Vous dites avoir fait l'inverse de libérer la population. Est-ce qu'il est correct de dire que vous avez, sans le vouloir, participé à un régime qui a assujetti la population But I don't Answer. Know. Yes, that is true. I uh, did not like it. Merci, Monsieur le témoin, d'avoir répondu à mes questions. Thank Je vais la parole au avocat des parties civiles. Merci, le Président. Thank you, Mr. Chair. President. Thank you. And the floor is now given La to Litko Lawyer for Civil Party. Lawyer Lauchen, thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, everyone in and around the courtroom, and good afternoon, Mr. Witness. I am Lao Jun Thi, civil party lawyer. You have just uh, given your responses to the questions in relation to food ration. I would, to, I would like to seek some clarification on this matter. I uh, do not really understand well about the word that you use. That is ling sing, and uh, the ling sing in our Khmer culture is the uh, container which we use to steam food. Could you give your explanation on this? Witness, as for Lung Sung, it, it, it was about uh, the uh, box which was used by uh, old lady to keep uh, nuts and the beetles. And in one lung sung, there were, there were four parts in one lung sung or container. Lawyer, I would like to backtrack a little bit. You stated that you participated in the attack into Phnom Penh. And how long, how many days did you stay in Phnom Penh before you were relocated to Kampong Chnan? Witness, I was not staying uh, 
long in uh, Phnom Penh. I uh, was in Phnom Penh uh, for perhaps uh, three months, and after that, I was transferred to do rice farming in Anlong Kangan. And after which, I was transferred to Kampung Chinang. Question. Question. Upon your arrival at Kampung Chinang, what was the situation like? From your observation, were there many people at that place? And uh, did the construction start already? And what was the situation like when you first arrived at the place? Answer. When I arrived at Kampung Chinang, I was at the field. There were many palm trees and other trees in that area. And a large portion of land was cleared at that time. And after I uh, came down from the vehicle, I was asked to line up, and uh, we were divided into units. I would like uh, to tell the court that uh, when the we were told uh, to line up, and I could understand that the voice of the person who called us to line up at that time was the one who was from the southwest zone. Lawyer, thank you. And after you were there, you have just stated that uh, you all over divided into groups or units. And uh, after you arrived at the place, you stayed in your respective unit. And what was the responsibility of your unit at that time? Answer. Other units, including mine, had the same duties. We were, for me, I was given a pair of the uh, baskets and uh, one shoulder pole and uh, one hole. Everyone got the same the tools and materials. And after that, uh, they appointed to the, uh, to, to, to the hill, the small hills, that we had to dig, and we had to complete uh, the work accordance, in accordance with uh, the plan. But, oh. Lawyer, thank you. Avocat, merci. I would like to know the supervisor or the leaders at that construction site and particularly your, uh, the chief of your unit. So where was he from? Was he the one who was, who was from Anlong uh, Kangan? Witness. The one who supervised me was from uh, the southwest zone. I did not know his or her name. I knew that uh, these people were from the southwest zone because they did not really understand uh, Khmer people. And uh, if we look at them and if we did not comply with uh, their assignment, we would be killed. Lawyer.
You stated that you did not dare to look at uh, their faces, and uh, you said that uh, they did not understand uh, what Khmer was. Did this person speak Khmer, and was he Khmer? Witness, he was Khmer. His origin was Khmer, but he identified my unit, that is Unit 17, as the, unit, the enemy unit, and uh, I would do the work as assigned by him. I could not protest. Lawyer, thank you. You have just stated that uh, you receive a pair of baskets, shoulder pole, and a hole. Were there any other modern equipment given to you? For example, uh, if uh, you were assigned to go and break the rock, you would uh, face some uh, fatal Accident. Did you receive any uh, protection kits? Answer. After I cleared the land, I had to go to collect a rock and also to break the rock. There were no protection kits. And if uh, we were hit by the uh, fragments, we would bleed sometime. And if uh, we got sick, uh, we also had to work. We did not have uh, the freedom to complain or to protest. Lawyer, thank you. Avocat, je vous remercie. During the uh, breaking of the rock, did you notice any fatal accidents? La roche, avez-vous été témoin d'accidents mortels? Answer. Réponse. People died from the fragments of the rock almost every day. And uh, the uh, rock was, uh, broken, uh, was broken by the uh, blasting machine or explosive. And uh, the one who was responsible for, in for installing uh, the explosive, if he or she could not run away in time, he would be killed by the uh, rock fragments. And uh, I was told, and I heard people say every day that uh, when workers used uh, the uh, blasting machine or explosive to break the rock, some would die. And as some who got injured because of uh, that work uh, would be referred to uh, the hospital in Kampong Chinang. Lawyer, thank you. If workers sustain injury, si les travailleurs souffraient de blessures, did the supervisor of uh, units take any major supervisor des unités de l'unité en question prenait une quelconque mesure to avoid any future injuries sustained by workers as you stated that there were people injured from work les gens étaient blessés au travail y avait-il des mesures pour prévenir ce type d'accident Answer. If the ambulances came in time, and if the injured worker did not die yet at that time, they would be brought by the ambulances to the hospital. Alors, on l'a mené à l'hôpital en ambulance. I noticed that 
those who stood and look at uh, the injured who were, who were transported into the ambulances would be dis would, would disappear disparaissait ensuite. So if we dared uh, to stand ah, and si, watch, uh, si osait they were transporting or taking uh, the injured uh, worker into the ambulances, they would disappear. Alors on disparaissait. Lawyer, you have just stated that Avocat. if uh, one dares to stand and Vous venez de dire look que at si the ambulances or look at the injured scène, people or worker being transported into the, the ambulances, they would disappear. So where did you see such incidents? Où avez -vous vu cela? The incident happened at the work site and, uh, the, and the people who disappeared uh, were from uh, different units. They were not from uh, my units. And if people disappeared, uh, we would si ask each other. Alors on we se did not uh, have the freedom to stand and uh, discuss about the disappearance of uh, our colleagues. But uh, while we were working or walking, we would ask each other why we did not see some uh, certain people. So as I stated, the one who dared to stand and watch uh, the uh, injured people being transported into the ambulances would disappear. Lawyer, I would like to seek your clarification as well in relation to the time when you were work, uh, working at the construction site. Did you ever see any technicians working at that airfield? Were there any uh, technicians or experts? Le chantier, y avait-il des techniciens, y avait-il des experts? Yes, there were Chinese experts. Réponse, oui, il y avait des experts chinois. Lawyer, thank you. L'avocat, merci. Regarding the, the Chinese expert, did, were they aware chinois. of uh, the accident at work? Savait-il? Était-il au courant qu'il y avait des accidents? Answer, perhaps they did not know. Et that is why they uh, said nothing about the incidents, au sujet de the ces accidents. accidents. Sometimes I uh, was assigned to work close to uh, the location where Ça people got injured, and I knew about that. But sometimes I was uh, sent to far away to work. I did not know about the accidents. Lawyer, thank you. Were there an, any female, female units? And what kind of work did they do? Answer. There were many uh, female workers from uh, the East Zone. They stayed uh, in a far distance from my place. And I noticed that uh, there were many female workers at the airfield. I knew that some uh, workers, female and male, uh, were from uh, the East Zone. They were from uh, the north. De certaines de ces personnes venaient du nord. Lawyer. Concerning a female workers. L'avocat. En ce qui concerne ces travailleuses. Did they suffer from any accidents at work? Ont-elles subi Ont-elles été victimes d'accidents au travail? Answer. I have no idea. Réponse. But in late 1976, uh, female workers were gone. I did not know where they go, where they went. Uh, perhaps uh, they were relocated. They were moved. Female workers would stay in 
a house in houses and uh, later on in late 1976 I did not see them anymore. Question. Question. Did you know the the fact that there was a female who committed uh, suicide at that time? Saviez was it because uh, she was doing a hard labor? And did you know that uh, there was a female worker throwing herself uh, under the wheel of the uh, uh, steamroller? Witness, I have never known about the suicide committed by the female worker. And uh, we had the same working condition, but as for the lady who committed the suicide, I have no idea. Question. During the time that uh, you worked at uh, the Question. airfield, were there any livelihood meetings chantier, y des taking de place uh, frequently? Ces réunions avaient-elles lieu régulièrement? Answer no. Réponse non. There were no meeting, even the small or big ones. Il n'y avait pas de réunions, qu'elles soient petites ou grandes. Question. If uh, someone committed wrongdoing or infraction, Question. Si for example, uh, breaking hole or destroying the basket, what erreur, kind of action exemple, un panier would ou casser une binette, they... Que se what kind of accident did they receive? What kind of uh, um, action did they receive? Que leur arrivait-il? Witness. If uh, one uh, broke uh, the hole or Témoin. destroy any basket, si un ouvrier they had un to maintain the, the, panier, the some parts of uh, the uh, fragment or they had to maintain the, the a broken uh, basket so that they would uh, not be in uh, trouble. Il and as for my units, uh, we never committed any wrongdoing. Les paniers, sinon ils auraient, ils se seraient heurtés à de gros ennuis. En ce qui concerne mon unité, jamais nous n'avons commis de telles erreurs. When you were working at the airfield, how many workers Lorsque vous travaillez sur le chantier, combien de travailleurs y avait-il Answer. When I uh, first arrived at the airfield, there were not so many people. There were around uh, 100 workers. But uh, in late 1976 and in early 1977, the number of workers grew. There were about one, over 1,000 workers. And in early 1978, uh, I could see a worker everywhere. The number grew more. And I could see many heads at uh, the airfield. Everyone uh, was uh, skinny and bony. Personne et tout le monde et toutes les personnes étaient rachitiques. Because uh, we were suffering from exhaustion. Parce que nous étions tous, nous souffrions tous d'épuisement. Lawyer, thank you. Avocat, merci. I guess I, 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 stop. In document I S nineteen. 
you were asked a question and uh, you also gave uh, your response. You stated in that document that you could not trespass into other units location, otherwise you would die. And then there was another question, a follow-up question. Il y a ensuite une question de suivi in the document. dans ce document. And uh, you were asked why many people died during the time that they were working at the Kampung Chenang airfield. And your answer at that time was there was an instruct there was an instruction from uh, Pol Pot and people died because they had the uh, slogan that uh, Keeping one is no gain, taking them, taking him or her away is no loss. So people would be taken away at any time they wanted. You are in France, 0082 3168. You are in English, 0068 06 55. Come on, you are in 00 54 What do you mean? I would like to know uh, the statement that you made in your document. What do you mean by that? J'aimerais comprendre votre déclaration. Witness, it happened a long time ago. I may have uh, forgotten it. The unit who was assigned to do the work in one particular, particular location had to stay in their own location. We could not trade past our into other unit location. I was working to the west, so I could not uh, trace past into other unit location. We would be arrested if we dare to trace past into other unit location. And if a one that was arrested, he or she si would arrêté, never return. On ne plus. You asked me about security and the protection taking place at uh, the construction work site. And site if the guard uh, saw us uh, trespassing uh, into si other unit location, he or she would come to arrest us. Alors, il nous Lawyer, I have a Lawyer, last question une for you. Did you notice any visitors or any delegates coming to visit uh, the work site? Did you notice any Chinese delegation at the work site? Witness, I never saw chantier. any Témoin. delegation at the work site. site. I did not know about that. Lawyer, thank you, Mr. President. Avocat, I conclude my line Monsieur of questioning. President, thank you. Before we adjourn the hearings today, the Chamber would like to inform the public that the witness and expert support unit has informed the Chamber that uh, witness 2TCW866, who was scheduled to testify this week, is unable to testify due to illness. She will be rescheduled to testify after the mid-year judicial recess when her health permits. Therefore, the chamber will hear 2 TCW A55 this week. In relation to the 1st January dam work site. And uh, the chamber would like to confirm as well that after the judicial recess, the chamber will start hearing the witness in relation to Tropiang Mo Dam work site. The hearing today comes to an end. 
and uh, the chamber will resume its hearing tomorrow on the 20th, on the 24th of June 2015, starting from 9 a.m. and the chamber will continue to hear witness him Hon, and after which it will hear one civil party. 2TCP247. Please be informed. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Him Horn. The hearing of your testimony as a witness has not come to an end yet. You are therefore invited to be here again tomorrow starting from 9 a.m. You may now rest. Court officer with the West Sous unit. Please send um, Mr. Him Horn to the place where he is staying at the moment, and please invite him back into the court room tomorrow at 9 a.m. Security personnel, you are instructed to bring uh, Mr. Kirsten Horn and Nunji back to the detention facility and have them returned tomorrow before 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned.